additional therapy. Surprise. Hey, look at all this great stuff we got from the occupational therapist. Yes, I, I wanted to take all these toys home because I'm never going to use them. Mm. You say that now. <laughs> you are looking much better. Thanks to my doctors and my family. <laughs> oh, is that Stephanie's chart? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that is. You're an MD, aren't you? You know how to read those things. Huh? So tell me, is she really doing as well as she thinks she is? Read it. Yeah. Darla, go watch for the nurse at the door. Okay. <laughs> Please, tell us what my condition is. There seems to be a few things missing. Oh, yeah? Like what? Well, I expect to see some lab reports, for one thing. Well, maybe Dr. Mark has them. Wow. You're a very lucky woman. I didn't need a chart to tell me that. Yeah, well, I did. Because all we've been hearing since we wheeled you in here is, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you, doctor. It's wonderful to have a doctor in the family again, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm going to grab this stuff, drop it off at your oh, house on my way home, just in case you never know, all right? No, I'm glad you're feeling better. Love you. Thank you, darling. Kiss the baby. I will, honey. Thanks. I too. Thank you for taking care of her. Of course. Stephanie, I had no intention. Taylor, I have no secrets from you. I obviously wasn't persuasive enough, though, on the phone. Do you understand why I needed to know? Nick, he's come up with this whole scenario that I have taken the hospital and the entire staff of this hospital and turned them into some sort of acting company to enable me to fake a heart attack. Would you like to know where he got the uh, conspiracy theory from? Brooke. What I didn't tell you on the phone is that she came in the other night and she disconnected my ventilator. She cut off the oxygen. She what? She cut off the oxygen. She damn near killed me. I really can't believe that one. She had to be completely desperate. Yes, I think that's safe to say. I just hope you can appreciate how it would make me feel to think that Ridge had made this commitment to me for all the wrong reasons. Look, in this situation, someone was going to be hurt. You knew that. I knew it. And he did, too. He just couldn't face it. I'm sure that's true. He must have come over here right after she left. Brooke took RJ and Hope and moved out first thing this morning. That's what did it. I tried to tell her that I thought it was too soon, that she needed to give the children a little more time to have a transition, but... Taylor, I'll bet you anything he's with her right now. If he is, he is. They haven't really had any time to sit down and discuss this since he made his decision. He made the decision that he wanted to make. There's no doubt about that in my mind. Absolutely no doubt. Look, if he's with her, you've got to be there in plain sight. I mean, especially if this decision is now under review. Oh, I don't believe that. I would know if Ridge was not certain about this. How many times have I told you, do not underestimate the power that this woman has over him? <laughs> 